Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be focusing in on the PvP mode 3v3 arena. This also kind of works for Outpost Rush, but Outpost Rush is much more lenient as there's a 20v20 going on, and realistically, you don't mean near as much in that 20v20 as you do in a 3v3. So we're going to load up into a 3v3 and kind of explain to you guys what you need to be doing in every 3v3 in New World. There's huge, huge bonuses to doing certain things. The biggest thing is going to be gear, right? So gear is the pinnacle of what deters people from embracing PvP, either by pure inexperience, and really they're unsure of what to build, ultimately feel a lack of motivation to commit to a building of a, you know, kind of a certain gear, or they altogether jump in with really bad gear and get farmed, and that crushes any sort of desire or intent to explore PvP. For gear, do not just buy five heavy pieces and walk into the battlefield thinking that's going to be exactly what you want. What I would suggest to start out with is a 22.9 build, which is medium, or even focusing in on a light build so you can have dodge rolls. It's all about mobility in the current gameplay and meta when it comes down to 3v3 arenas. A lot of people going bow and spear because it's probably one of the strongest, and realistically, medium and light are going to be meta for quite some time unless they make some changes so here we got our 3v3 invite to the arena first off we're going to jump into the arena obviously we're gonna have a little loading screen we're going to get in there uh the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go press tab we have a couple different things to look into make sure everything's socketed with a certain gem i realistically don't like the gems that i have now it's more physical over the elemental damage. Uh, usually I would like to, I don't know, recently at least, I've been going onyxes on everything. Um, this is just an old build. So 2.5% physical damage absorption does come to play quite a bit. But the big thing we're gonna note, and we only have 55 seconds to do so, is to put in some of these different uh, utilities. So here we have powerful incense. These all cost about 80 to 100 gold. The good thing is you don't actually use them in the arena you can use this stuff as much as you want in the arena so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use that powerful incense it gives you increases resistance to afflictions by 50 for 30 minutes we're also going to click on the powerful honing stone if we use the powerful honing stone it'll increase our damage by seven percent for 40 minutes we also have one more to use, and that's going to be the constitution food. It can be whatever kind of food you want, whether you want intelligence, constitution, etc. All of them will work here in the arena. Let's pop that real quick. Okay, so now we have everything used. The last thing we have to put into the slot is the powerful gemstone dust. This increases your absorption of elemental damage types by 35% for 20 seconds or until any damage is received 15 times. So we got hit with a poison arrow while I was kind of talking to you guys, but let's type or actually put in that uh, powerful gemstone dust now. And you can see as it ticks, recover. Oh, that's actually from me eating food on top of food. But you are going to basically take more damage now. So that's going to be a very big bonus. Uh, I am kind of trying to talk and play at the same time with my good microphone. So I'm kind of leaning forward a little bit. Expect really bad gameplay here. Um, but I'll show you guys some clips of the fire staff and the rapier actually working in previous builds. Uh, this just is a very fun build, a uh, high mobility build, and it's something that you don't see near as much now with the ice gauntlet, the void gauntlet, and you know these bows all over the place. Looks like our team for the most part is doing a majority of the damage. I'm going to try to sneak in the back and get this uh, bow guy under pressure so he doesn't do too much damage to every team. Looks like they actually got a kill on my team here, so it could be a 2v2, could be interesting. So I believe they're out of potions, or this bow guy in the back is probably out of potions for now. I'm going to try to get a quick fireball. Fireball is great because it's going to be an automatic hit pretty much. And I probably should be using my potions more often just because they are going to be on cooldown when you use them. And there's no point in not using them. So right now it looks like uh, my other guy might be hiding. Oh, he's just missing shots, I would assume. Unfortunate. I'm going to use a food on top of a food to really get that recovery going. Might as well. And you can see that my powerful gemstone dust is also about to be up. Um, so that's good as well. This does look like we have a very high chance of losing here. I'm going to try to use some potions and run in a circle for a second, get my powerful gemstone dust back up. Looks like he's definitely getting comboed right now. He can't be happy about this. Uh, I kind of took a bullet for him there. I believe I, I stopped him from dying. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I definitely thought I took out my rapier and used repost. Obviously, I did not as we have a glitch screen there. Um, that one was looking rough from the get-go. Realistically, like I said, kind of going to probably lose this one just because of the microphone as of where it is. 
Let me go over here, though, and talk about one more thing you guys should definitely be doing. Like I said, heavy armor is just not in the mode or really current meta at all. So definitely take away, you know, your heavy armor. Go swap into light and medium armors. There's going to help you quite a bit when it comes to 3v3 arena. Uh, but I do want to jump into some of this PvP here. So some of the focus, if there is a life staff user... Typically, you're not going to be able to kill them. You're going to want to look for the lightest armor user on their team, no matter what, even if they have a life staff user. Another thing to note is if they are playing life staff, I'll actually show you here after this round um, what I was going to say about that, but you want to kind of delay life staff games as long as possible, and you have a better chance of winning. So we're doing some good damage to uh, this guy. I missed my fireball. Pretty bad shot there. Um, we're just going to heal up. We're also going to use another powerful gemstone dust. Just got to keep making sure to use those as soon as they come up. Spear is really strong currently, and this guy just missed every spear ability, so my riposte didn't actually activate. That's always unfortunate. Looks like we're back in the back again. Um, we got a guy coming in. This is actually typically a good thing, because if all three focus this guy, we could probably take him out, right? But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case, as unfortunately, uh, you can actually dodge through all of the fire staff abilities very, very easily, um, as he did there. And we're missing every ability. Like I said, guys, this is this is untypical gameplay, I would say, for me. But uh, we're going to try to just run bombard this guy. It didn't work out too well. We're going to use health. We're going to also just try to parry and run. Fireball that guy for a free kill. Nice. Okay, so we got a kill. We're up 3-2 here. We have a chance. I'm going to use some potions. Or not potions, but food. And I think at this point it's a 3v1, so it should be pretty much... Uh, free game so there's not much uh, not much reason to stress at this point he's gonna attack oh he's not even gonna try it looks like oh he's going back to it so you can see here this is uh, definitely going to be a one-to-one -one game here um, but you can see like I said the amount of buffs that you're getting here on this bar uh, you get that like I said 35 minute buff so you don't need to even pot these twice the only thing you're potting multiple times is the gemstone dust. And just make sure you have the highest tier potions as well. Obviously, infused health, infused regeneration potions, and uh, the hearty meals just so you can continue to use food on food. Um, but like I said, as the circle gets smaller, I think my Alexa just activated in the background, but as the circle gets smaller, you are actually going to be able to um, have reduced healing. So that's what... See, there you go. You got the Alexa coming in. But you actually get reduced healing as the circle gets smaller. So that's a huge, huge uh, ordeal because healing right now is, in my opinion, very, very busted. There we go. We got a quick kill there. If I can stay alive, it'll all be worth it. And we'll be down to a 3v2. Let me get around the corner. Get that gemstone dust popped. So this guy's busy on me. They're actually getting a 2v1 in the back, so this should be a free kill. I'm just going to go bombard him with the rest of the people. Since they don't have a healer, this should, like I said, be pretty free. Got some good damage down. I'm going to try to go around the backside here. I'll just throw a fireball on his face. He's He should be a goner. Um, and then he's got the flame out. We'll just go right onto the backside of him. And he's got nowhere to really run. Wait, we didn't kill that guy? Oh, there we go. Okay. They took a little bit longer, I thought, to kill that guy. And they were going to insta-kill him, I thought. But... That's all right. We are up two to one in a series that uh, obviously plays to three. And if you actually go to escape three three arena, you can see win three rounds to win the match. When the time is up, fire will engulf the arena. And as the round progresses, healing is reduced. So if you're playing, like I said, against a healer, you want those rounds to go as long as possible to really give you a better chance as healing. Like I said, right now is really, really, really strong. Unfortunately, they just can't seem to find a good sweet spot on the healing. Uh, we're all just sitting in the back, kind of clumped up, so I'm going to try to make a move. We've got some good damage on this uh, bow guy in the back. He's about, what, a quarter health down? But uh, we're going to see if we can switch targets. we got 2k hit on him. Very nice. We're going to try to hit a fireball on him. If you have everybody kind of scattered around, uh, that's fine, because all it takes is one of them to make a push. That's a push they really shouldn't be making. I think that guy just hit me through the wall. Maybe not. I'm going to use a regen potion here. Uh, but let's see if we can get a... Nope, didn't hit that. We got a fireball for 3k on this man. He must be a weak gear score. I'm just going for the kill. And that was a fast kill. So that's something you like to see. There's a 2k hit. Another hit. Let's see if we can get this.
He's nice. Okay, okay. Oh, I missed that. Shouldn't be missing those, but should be okay here. Nobody's really attacking my uh, guy that's really weak. I don't know. Usually you try to focus the guy that's nice and weak. Maybe they were just killing somebody. He's very weak. This should do it. Oh, I missed it, I believe. He's going to repost here, and I'm not going to attack him. Watch this. Get a nice... Ah, he's not reposting. He wants to just keep running, I guess. Probably close to a health pot. That guy just got hit for a lot of damage. You got to love when you get a good crit on the Pillar of Fire. It does a ton of damage. And we'll just charge and bum rush this last man standing. I thought he would attack, but he got knocked back. So that's a good game, 3-1. to one. Um, Kind of a fun game as well. Uh, like I said, 3v3 Arena is a very fun thing. I really hope they come out with leaderboards so everybody can have more fun kind of trying to push those leaderboards. But for now, a lot of fun. Like I said, if you want to get better at PvP as well, build relationships with other people that you like to play with. Build relationships uh, with people that have builds that are really good with your build. And duel friends all the time because dueling friends is going to be how you become better at PvP. Uh, so you can see here, I did do the most damage, not by a lot. I mean, if you look at their side, I had them guns up. Definitely did a crap ton of damage. Uh, Avilos actually struggled quite a bit on damage. I believe that was the guy that probably had a very low gear score that I basically one shot in the middle of the map at that uh, kind of last round, I believe. But you can see that it is very viable to go this build. And obviously, these consumables are very, very uh, useful in the arena as well. And they cost nothing. Like I said, you buy them once, you use them non-stop for every arena you do and uh, like I said I think right now they're about 300 gold probably for all of them maybe 400 gold depending on the server that you're on but that's going to be all it really takes for the pvp arena guide I just want to kind of give you guys an understanding of what consumables you need to be taking kind of the gear that you need to be taking and the last thing I should have mentioned before but I'll mention it now is if you go to attributes right so one of the big things is with pvp so attributes, you want to hit these marks. And this is something that most of you already know is why I kind of kept it out of my head. But if you're kind of returning back to the game like a lot of you are, you have fixed 50 dexterity as one of those points that give you plus 10% chance to critical hit. You have 300 intelligence, which gives you plus 10% damage on first hit on a full health target. And then you have the 100 constitution increased max health by 10% of your physical armor. So I try to hit milestones with every single attribute that you can um, that is actually beneficial to you. So that's exactly what I did. I would have no need to go to 100 decks. As you can see, 5% thrust damage is really not worth it. I would rather have you know more constitution or more intelligence. So you want to hit these little dots. They give you different, uh, basically, passive attributes. So definitely take advantage of that in your attributes page. Thank you guys again for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down in the YouTube section below. Well, also, if you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on as we get started. Like I said, we have many, many videos to come on PvP. There's a lot of fun to be had in Outpost Rush and Arena, as well as some of the big new content coming. Thanks again. I'll see you all in the next one.